Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ. And looking at the last part of our schedule here to end off, end the season, Ohio State on the road is coming up next at you, but we're also going to give another game in this episode, Penn State. So we're going back to back. Penn State kind of fell off the map. Once they lost to Quan Barkley and Trace McSorley, look at it. They're 5-5 five and five at this point. Uh, Ohio State's actually having a pretty good season. They're eight and two. We're eight and two as well. So this is number eight versus number nine. This first matchup, and then going up against Penn State at home. So as you can see, let's just look at the matchup first versus Ohio State. Let's just see how we match up versus them because you know they've got a pretty good pass game. Look at Burrow. He's got 27 touchdowns with three interceptions. That's a hell of a good ratio. And then Dobbins runs for a thousand yards. Nine touchdowns, almost a double digit. And then Hill on the outside as their leading uh, receiver. Um, this is actually going to be a tough game. We're on the road. So there's going to be no slouch at all. And looking at the matchup here, they're A plus everything. So we're going to have our work cut out for us. It might be another tough game like Michigan. But man, no more talk, man. Let's just get into this game. Ohio State first, then hopping into Penn State. Let's get it. Let's go. Starting out this game versus Ohio State, Burrow, remember last year, we thought he would be a pure pocket passer. He was running the ball a little bit, so that's something that we had to look out for in this game. But on a third and long, they start out the game with the ball. We stop them on the screenplay that time. It's Simmons on the tackle there. So Fleming starts out this next drive in our own territory, finding Joe Richard, baby Gronk, deep down the field getting past the 50 yard line so early on his game he's going deep but this one is going to be picked off by wade the cornerback for ohio state i tried it i had one-on-one -on -one coverage he just didn't throw it deep enough i thought i had a step on him but wade makes a great play and coverage so later on in this first quarter look Bruh. at this man breaking all the tackles is jk dobbins getting a 15 yard gain and later in this drive facing a third and seven look at that cheating they try to cheat their way to the first down but we stop them one yard short of the fir first down and on a fourth and one that one's raekwon jones getting in there for the tackle and we force them to turn it over so we take over in our own territory on a third and seven throwing a screen or throwing a slant pattern that time to michael wilson that one gets batted down so burrow takes over once again and jk dobbins gets loose there and he gets in for the touchdown that's actually kj hill i'm just so used to jk dobbins killing us that kj hill gets the ball this time on the slant route he gets in for the touchdown and that's a 7-0 lead for the number nine ohio state buckeyes and josh fleming he's looking nervous right now we are on the road the crowd is just into this one you can tell it's been making an impact on this game and on a third on a third down we try to throw the ball nobody's open so we throw the ball away we get an intentional grounding penalty on that one but we get the punt we have to punt the ball away to them but jerome johnson gets in for the tackle but they punt the ball here on a fourth and five but they're going for it and look at that cheese they just tried to get away with some cheese there the punter broke a sack tackle and throws it Look at that. He throws a perfect dime. If it wasn't for Rutledge on that coverage, that would have been a perfect dime on the money. So Josh Fleming takes over here, getting past the 50-yard line, getting the ball to Joe Richard, baby Gronk. And a couple of plays later, inside a field goal range, now Devontae Williams gets the ball up the middle, and Paul Stone finishes it off for the four yard gain up the middle and we're tying this game up before half so now we do end up getting the ball back one more time after forcing ohio state to punt and look at this we roll out to the right make a crucial mistake josh fleming and man that was just on that was on the quarterback man he shouldn't have made that throw but hey we got to play some defense we can't hang our heads but J.K. Dobbins, they got him on the other side of the ball, and he gets up inside of enemy territory, and Mike Weber Jr. finishes it off. Just about a minute and a half 
left in the first half of this game and we just need to get some points on the board uh, try to drive get Fleming some confidence because after throwing a pick he's definitely on his toes he's looking him in the pocket he's running out of the pocket he's definitely a little antsy here but on a third and seven come on to Sear Mac I don't know what he was doing on that one I rolled out the cornerback collapsed and he was wide open on that one. So on a fourth and seven, we have to go for it. And this time, Michael Wilson gets open when the play breaks down. And we do get to settle for three points before the half. So now we're on to the second half. We start the half out with the ball. And Tasir Mack is getting a curl route there for a nice 15-yard gain. And on a third and nine, attempting another one to that side this time it's Michael Wilson but that ball is padded down so we do settle for another field goal so now we're down by one towards the middle of the third quarter and Burrow's gonna have all day to throw look at all this time he has but he throws it over his receiver's head so we force a punt on that one so now it's getting towards the end of the third quarter a minute left in this third and this time to Sear Mac actually pays attention Gets the catch there for a 20-yard reception. And Fleming is now inside the red zone. Rolling out right. Going to throw the ball into the end zone. And that one's going to be caught by who? Fry Fogel once again. Look at the footwork on this one. He keeps one foot in bounds. Look at that. Perfect catch. Keeps his foot in bounds. And that's going to be six points for the Indiana Hoosiers. So we go up by seven in this game. And Burrow... You know we got to watch out for him. And bruh, look at this, bruh. man. He throws a lob pass to KJ once again, and he skips into the end zone for a 57-yard bloop touchdown. I mean, that thing was just lobbed in there for KJ Hill. And Rutledge tries to take advantage but can't get to it. But we get the ball back, and on a third down, they're forcing us to throw the ball away. And look oh at that pancake by their guard there. Getting up is J.K. Dobbins. Cross the 50 now. First and 10 on this drive. And look at that throw. It gets just over the outstretched hands of Nate Owens. Look at how close it is. That man went through my hands. And they capitalized this Heisman cheese. I definitely should have had the interception on that one. But on a, a third and goal, they get in for the touchdown. J.K. Dobbins once again. So now the Ohio State Buckeyes are up seven. But there's three minutes left. And Calvin McDuffie finds an open lane getting to about the 50-yard line. So three and a half minutes left in this game. We got plenty of time to drive down this field. But remember, we want to milk the clock because remember what happened versus Michigan. We've seen this situation before where we had an opportunity to milk some clock and we didn't. So this time we're going to milk it. We're going to milk it all the way down to 30 seconds in this game, giving the ball to Paul Stone on the four-yard line. He's getting in for the touchdown. And I do have an option here to go for two, but I elect to kick the field goal to tie it up. So now Ohio State gets the ball back. 24 seconds left in this game and Burrow is going to show that he's not out of this game yet uh, completing the 12 yard pass to Max so 20 seconds left now and look at the throw by Burrow he gets it to Barry and now they're on the other side of the 50 I don't know what Raekwon Jones was doing on that one I had I push Y that should have been knocked down if not intercepted but on the next play he's throwing Bruh. it once again to the outside of Marcelino Ball has the game uh, in his hands there. He could have took it to overtime at least, but he drops it, and what do you know? Burrow completes a pass to the outside receiver, and now they have an opportunity to kick the game winner, and that one is going to barely squeak through the uprights, and it's another heartbreaker for the Indiana Hoosiers. Look at how close that was. And look at the stats on this game. We both had about 370 and 396 yards total offense. 
pretty identical across the board. It was a good game from start to finish, but the Ohio State Buckeyes capitalized. So we're moving on to Penn State. And as you can see, I'm the at home, actually. We're not even on the road. We're at home. It's snowing. And we turn the ball over on our first drive. And you know Penn State giving the ball to Sanders. And he's getting a 40-yard touchdown to start out this game. Not the start we are looking for these last couple of weeks. We've been playing some sloppy football. And this time, though, Fleming back in the game after getting hurt on the first play. He gets a nice triple option there. Getting up past the 50-yard line, pitching the ball to Devontae Williams. So on a fourth and one here, facing adversity early because Devontae Williams is getting stopped on that one up the middle. And just like that, the Penn State Nittany Lions Bruh. go down the field. And look at this. Hamler is getting up after getting tackled. And he's getting a good gain gotcha, on bitch. that one. But we do get in for the sack. This time it's Brandon Wilson. And we do get them to settle for the field goal. So now on to the second quarter in this one already. Fleming is going to drop back to pass. Find Joe Richard, baby Gronk, deep down the field for the 36-yard gain. But on a first and 10, he's going to find Michael Wilson. So we are driving the ball pretty nicely on this one. And on a first and 10, running a triple option, getting to Tassir Mack. And he puts on a oh nasty juke. God. Getting up inside the 10-yard line and on the next play, a second and goal. Wilson is going to get open on the slant pattern for the 10-yard gain. So Josh Fleming settling down a little bit after last game, taking the loss there, finding Wilson over the middle. And it's a 10-7 game, but they have Sanders on their side, and he's breaking tackles, getting up past the 50-yard line and on a second and six. Santa's going to get a nice block from his pulling guard on that one, and they're going to just keep running the ball. They're going to give the ball to number one on this play, K.J. Hamler, and he's going to run in for the 20-yard touchdown run. And, man, Indiana is already in a hole in this game. It's one minute left in this half, so we get to drive down the field at least make it manageable going into the second half. And on a third and 10, we're going to get a lot of pressure on that one. And look at that. Michael Wilson got bumped by the defender on that one. He was open, but they do not call the pass interference. So on a fourth and 10, trying to throw the ball to Tassir Mack, and he drops the pass. And look at this. Penn State takes over at the 50-yard line. Under 20 seconds left in this half. They get a couple more yards and attempt a field goal. But luckily, this one is wide left, so we go into halftime down by 10 points. And they start out the ball, start out the half with the ball, and K.J. Hamler cannot get the first down that one. But they do attempt a fourth down fake, and look at what happens. They convert there on the fake punt. They're just trying to save their season. Look at this. I had him Bruh. in the backfield, and he makes a sudden cut and gets a first down on that one. So... The Nittany Lions are coming to upset the Indiana Hoosiers on the road, and they are driving. They mean business. And on a couple of plays later, Michael Long is getting open inside the end zone for the touchdown, and it's a 24-7 to hole it, late in this game. I mean, it's the third quarter, so we just had to put some, put some string of plays together because – it's going to be tough to just try to air the ball out deep. So we have to mix these play calls up. And on a second and 10, to see your Mac is getting open, getting inside the 10-yard line. I can't even see the end zone. It's snowing so much. But on a first and goal, Fleming's going to find his man to see your Mac in the corner of the end zone. That time he was lined up at the tight end position. He gets open. It's a definite mismatch in that position. So now we're back down by 10 points. Gotcha, On a third and 11, we get to the quarterback. Stevens on that one, and we do force a punt. So first and 10 here, Joe Richard, baby Gronk. He just always seems to get open whenever I need him. And on a first and 10 later in this drive, Josh Fleming is going to throw the ball. Michael Wilson cannot break free on that one, but it is a 14-yard gain. 
getting to about the 50-yard line and on a second and three, WAP failure. Remember, he's played a huge role for us, stepped up in that number four wide receiver slot. He gets in the game a lot, and he delivers to Searmack once again. So Fleming drops back on a first and ten, rolling out to the right. He's going to throw a dime to, to Searmack, keeps his feet in bounds on a first and goal. So on the next play, Devontae Williams going to break a tackle there, rumble into the end zone. And Josh Fleming has three touchdown passes in this game. So we're now down three points in late in this fourth quarter. But look at Sanders oh running God. over the defender, getting past the 50-yard line on a 24-yard gain. Look at that. Just straight demolishes the defender. And, man, this is a tough pill to swallow if we cannot stop them here. But they get another first down. But on a third and six, the clock, they had to get a first down here in order to run clock, and they throw it up for grabs. And Andre Brown comes up with a huge interception in this game, and that's definitely the turnover we've been needing. So now it is a minute and 20 seconds left in this half. And who are we finding? Watt failure. I was talking about him earlier. He just finds a way to get it open. So Fleming drops back on a first and 10 once again. Finding Watt failure. He just gets open. He continues to impress for the Indiana Hoosiers here. So a minute and 10 left in this game. And Devontae Williams breaks free. Gets open. Gets inside a field goal range. So now we have to be smart. We have to kind of run clock. But we want to get into the end zone here. So it is a three-point game. 40 seconds left in this game. And Fleming's going to see an open lane. But he's going to toss it to Devontae Williams. He's going to get smacked. Luckily, he holds on to the ball there. So 30 seconds left. I attempt to run the ball. So we have to hurry up offense. No timeouts left. 20 seconds left in this game. And we're running a slant pattern on a third and four. And Nick Westbrook is going to get open in the end zone. And an unlikely hero in this one. He's going to get open. And a rare touchdown by Nick Westbrook, the senior. And it's a four-point game. And they have one last shot to throw it deep. And Stevens is going to throw it deep. But this time, Burgess is going to be there for the interception and he's gonna make a move and return this one all the way for the touchdown and the Indiana Hoosiers come back in the fourth quarter in this one this was a grind them out game I won by 11 points but it was definitely much closer than the score indicated Dave Ferguson Michael Wilson T Mac, I mean, all these guys had consistent games, and man, what a great all around game this was. It was tough. It was in the snow and, you know, cold environments. Our guys were slipping all over the place, but we come out with the victory. So hit subscribe, hit that like button. We're going into bowl season on a good note. Let's get it. <laughs>